Hello everybody and welcome to Agrarian Skies episode 13. Um, in the last episode we built the laser drill and today we're gonna build the other uh, the laser precharger and maybe we'll do um, I don't even know. We'll do uh, the steel powered flight. I guess, because we've been skipping over. So, um, last episode we knew that we had to get pink slime for the pre-charger. Pre-charger. Damn it. Okay, I don't know who it is. Disregard the phone ringing in the background, you can't hear it. We need the pink slime. So, to get pink slime, I built a slaughterhouse. And what that does is, well, I'm spawning pigs, and there's no power because I cut the power, you can see it. But basically, the slaughterhouse produces pink slime and liquid meat, and uh, here's the pink slime. So then I just put it in a bucket. So apparently, this is, I had to look this up because I didn't know how to do it, but you can do something like this no nope. something like okay we're gonna have to do it here uh no something like that and then put this here and it'll dry oh yeah and then we can just kill him perfect so now we have the pink slime, and I went and filled up, well, I AFK'd, I don't know, for like a couple hours. So we have all the energy in the world for like the next 10 seconds. Precharger, and now oh, we need another hardening glass. Boom. Perfect. So let's put this down. Put this downstairs next to the other one. And when we do that, we're going to break these. Boom. Okay. And you go downstairs and break that block. I didn't realize that it was like just slightly off. Yeah, this one. Whoa! Almost got touched. If you touch it, it'll like burn you or something. Okay. So... Let's collect our quest. And that should give us... A... Oh, wow. Epic reward bag. That's pretty good. 64k storage. I'm, I don't even have space for that right now, but... So what you do is, uh, yeah, I guess you pop these in, and that can, like, get stuff. So we have power right here, but, uh, I don't know if our power is full. This thing, look at this. This thing is just generating power like crazy. This thing is empty? Yeah, so let's fill it up like this. So you can see all of these are pretty full, which is very nice, very nice, and yeah, this is pretty full. So you know what? I have one of these on me. Let's, oh, let's steal this one as well. Let's also steal this one. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, wait. I want to see if I can shorten this. Uh, mm, actually, let's see. We might have one. What is it called? I don't know. Oh, I saw one. I saw one. I saw one. 
Hardened energy conduit. Whoa. Is that just me? Hello? 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 Yeah, I think that was just... Every time I talk, I can, uh... It, like, vibrates. I hope that's not what this sounds like to you. Because it's really weird. There we go. So that should fill up with energy. What is going on? I don't know. Whatever. So, let's see if what this does. Oh, we should probably get a chest. Um... Put it here. Okay, let's see if it creates anything. I'm kind of confused. He doesn't accept power. Uh, do I have to rotate rotate this? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's there. So we're going to run we'll rotate it. Okay. Once more. There we go. No. Oh, maybe we have to wait for this timer to go down. 200 ticks. Uh, okay, I'm going to look this up, and I will be right back. Looks like I fixed it. I went to look it up. You have to place it one block away. So we're going to put this on, put these back in here. Uh, there you go. So, do we just wait till this hits a, uh, 200? I don't know what these focus foci fo it says. Uh, each unique color of foca focus increases the chance of mining specific ore. So we have brown and red. Brown is iron ore. Bauxite, topaz, or iron, okay. And red is copper. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So, I guess that's what we're going to be making. Oh, wow, Greg Tech. Okay. So, we did it. So, I said last time we were going to be doing steel powered flight, right? So, let's get started. We need high oven. Let's look it up. Hi, oven controller. Scorched brick. How do you get scorched brick? Brick and seared stone. Oh, sorry. That's it? Okay, so let's get seared stone. And let's get bricks. Um... Luckily, I have... I keep hearing like a vibration. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, there we go. This thing holds more than a stack. It's so nice. Almost two stacks. Okay, so we have seared. We'll put it in here, I guess. Or does it need to go on this thingy? Does it say casting table or. Oh, I have a brick. Let's try it. Boom. Okay, let's go grab some more bricks clay. Uh, I know how to do it. Okay, perfect. It's pretty slow, but it's faster than doing nothing. Ok, 
Okay, that should be good. Turn that off. Okay. So that should give us some bricks. Oh, we had a bunch anyway. Okay. So now our stone should have melted. Correct. Okay. So let's see if this is how you do it. That's going to be a lot of work. Well, I guess while we're waiting, we might as well pop some more cobble in here. Okay. La 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 I guess... Uh, I guess I'll be back when I have all of these done. Okay, we're back. Um, sorry, I just... My computer crashed, but we made these first two things here. Um, grab the rest of these. Okay, so we need to make a brick. So you can make these bricks right here in the actual thing if you just put like the brick in there and then you pour the uh, thing on top. But yes. So next thing is the scorched duct. Which I assume is like this. Okay, I don't know. Duct. Oh man, I just made the wrong thing. Okay, that's everything. And then... Scorch bricks. And that's only because it says you need to have four blocks high. At least one block higher than the top bottom row. Okay. So next thing. Deep tank controller. We need lapis. Okay. Go get some. We might have some over here. Nope. Ba 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 boobie 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 boobie. Okay. Boom. Deep. Good. Boom. Boom. Let's actually empty our inventory. <laughs> Got a bunch of junk in here. Oh, look at that. Okay, well... I guess let's pop down this radio. Right here. What does it do? Okay, well it doesn't do anything. Let's just put these away. Okay. Next one is this reward bag. Amaranth stairs. Well, even better. Wood stairs. Okay. What's next on here is the heavy armor. So I need to get steel for that. Uh, we need charcoal. Okay. And then this one is the steam turbine and turbine housing. What the heck? What's breaking? Oh, it's... I think it's, um... Yeah, okay. Obviously it uses this and then it breaks. Is that it? I guess so. Yep, okay. So, uh, let's see here. Steam turbine? Is that hard to make? Steam. Uh, no, we could probably make that actually. 
Rawr. And what are we missing? Was that? Oh, creative. Boom, steam turbine. What's next? Big, big reactor casing? Turbine housing. Which one? Turbine housing. Turb. Tur. Okay. Oh, we need steel and graphite. How do you even get graphite? Oh. You just smelt coal? Let's see. Coal. Shape is smelting graphite. Okay. So let's smelt some coal. Smelt this coal. I'm gonna do 16. I don't know how much we need. And then what are we doing? Turbine. Oh, we're gonna need a uh, thingy. So I guess I'm gonna get steel and we're gonna need cyanite. So do we have any cyanite? No. So, ooh, let's check on our laser and see if it has made anything. I went the wrong way. Yes, it has. Surtis quartz ore and nether gold ore. Ooh. Looks good. It's only used all of the power, I think, probably. I think you're hearing mobs in here. That kind of worked. It's because I moved the grinder. Yeah, that should start killing them now. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Yeah, so for this I'm going to have to get steel, which is going to take me a little bit. But in the next... actually, I was about to say in the next episode, but... 7 plus 6 is 17. Yeah, so we still got a little bit of time. So let's see if we can make a... one of these things. I don't even know. Let's make it downstairs. Right over here seems good. It's a multi-block, right? Let's see if it said anything about what shape it is. Four blocks high. Two, oh, two, three, four. Okay, let's move it over a little bit. I don't want it touching my hopper. Two, three, four. So what do I... Time to look it up. Does this high oven? Perfect. Let's see. High oven. Okay. High oven. High oven. Can it be any shape? I don't know if it's supposed to be like a specific shape or something. Seems like a good enough shape. Yeah, why not? need more. Did I forget any in here, please? No. Okay. 
So I guess let me grab some cobble and we'll be back when we finish it. Okay, everybody. Um, I think I got it in the right shape. I had to make a bunch more bricks um, because it did not want the second high oven controller. Oh, uh, wait. I want charcoal. I may have used, like, all of my charcoal uh, in the furnace, in the, uh, what is this called? High temperature furnace. I kind of put it, everything in that steel chest and it just, I had, like, so much and I put it away. Okay, so, does it say invalid structure still? What? Is it because we have a deep tank controller? I have two controllers, is that why? Invalid structure. I thought I did it. it. Needs to be four blocks high. Place the controller at least one block higher than the bottom row and at least one block lower than the top row. Yeah, that's correct. Maybe this thing should be here. Invalid structure. Okay, I guess I'll be back when I actually get it working. Oh, jeez. Okay, I got it working, and I know why. I needed to get this book and look at this picture, and it works. Okay, so also I put a lever on it because I heard you have to do that. So we need iron, of course. Ironic. Okay. And I put this in here already. So now it has to get to like super high level, right? Okay, then it says, um, uh, okay, so let's read the book while we wait, I guess, because it doesn't say. So while we wait for that to heat up, let's see what it says. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. It is smaller than the smeltery. We need a faucet. That's true. We're going to need this thing on the side. Okay. Gunpowder, sugar, and coal. Redstone, dust, sand. Gunpowder, redstone, sand. Do I have any of those? Oh, it goes here? Okay. Uh, charcoal, steel, makes sense. Pig iron? It is said to have been formed in the nether, but such fables adorn whimsical. Okay, oh, you can make nether quartz, too. You can make scorched bricks. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab one of those uh, thingies from upstairs. Let's get ourselves some steel. Um, I just need, I guess, this one. And I need this thing. Is this the. This is a duct, and this is a drain. Yep. Okay, so this goes here, maybe. And this goes here. I think there was a hole here, and that's the problem. I'm not sure. So it's at 300. So does it say how hot it needs to be? Uh, does it say? Does it say? No, it does not. Well, not on the. I'm on the uh, Minecraft forums page. Uh, no, maybe it says in the book. Oh, wait a second. This goes here. Yep. I'm looking at I'm looking at the um, the picture, the screenshot, and it definitely does go there. So let's steal some sand from in here. Sand does something, so we can put it in there. Sand goes in the third slot. Let's grab some redstone. 
and some gunpowder. Oh, okay, gunpowder and redstone. Perfect. And it needs to get to what? 3,000 degrees? Well, well, well. Okay, so I'm gonna just AFK here and we will be back when I have some steel. Okay, everybody. Um, finally, I have some stuff. Let's see if this works. Dun dun dun. The moment of truth. We're gonna need a bunch of stuff, so let's. Let's do this. I'm gonna go grab a crafting uh, table. Excuse me. Okay, let's go grab a crafting table. From over here. Because we might need to put more um, steel in, because I don't know how much iron we're gonna need. Okay, boom. Okay, so first things first, we need a suit of armor arm armor a suit of armor a suit of armor okay and it's probably better than the gold we have on so actually just in case they want it back they will need back they want it back okay boom 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 okay so next thing is the Turb, turban, the turban housing, which actually only needs four, which we have three. So let's grab some nether, am I not close enough? Did we lose power again? Gosh, darn it. Bing, hungry chest, okay. So let's do that. I guess we're gonna have to go. Actually, we need one more. So let's wait. La 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 la. Okay. That should be everything we need. Let's check the power down here before we go up. Okay, this thing is full. Yeah, this thing is outputting as fast as possible. It's because my wires are crappy, so they only do 400 RF per tick. That has to be it. Okay, let's let that sit so we can make it... Oh. No, that's not on. Is this on? Yeah, sounds like it. No, oh, you know what? This is using power. Yeah. Let's turn this off for right now. Just to kind of let some power come back, because this thing uses a lot of power. But if we get a, a big reactor, I think they're called, those things produce like 300 billion RF per tick. Okay, so that's boom, boom. Turban. Turb. Turban housing. Oh, I forgot we need cyanite. Damn. So there's no way to get cyanite dust, is what you're telling me. Do we have any? No, right? I already checked. Okay, I will be back after I Google how to get it. Negashimas. Okay. Um, so I looked it up, and it seems that cyanide ingots are a byproduct of the big reactor reacting. So, what we need to do is build a big reactor first, which is going to be tons of fun. Um, so let's see, oh geez, there's so many equations on this page. What we need is 
like delta rotor energy is lift torque minus the rotor energy over 4,000 times the rotor mass. Oh my god, the efficiency is 0.25 cosine of the rotor speed over 45.5 pi plus 3 divided by 0.5. Oh no, it's not even that. It's not divided by 0.5. It's actually a piecewise function. Okay. Well, that's that's going to be fun. So I'm making some yolorium. Yolorium, as I like to say. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yolorium. Um, and so we need to make reactor casing. Which actually isn't too bad to make. Once we have the yolorium and the... Uh, graphite. So, um, I don't know how long this episode's been, but if it's been too long, then, um, just pause it, you know, go take a nap or something, and come back, and then, um, continue watching it. Okay, thank you. Let's see, to build the multi-block, how do you even know how to do this? Okay, wait, let's check if this is a quest first before we do this where would it be where would it be where would it be yolorium i just really love saying yolorium it's weird that they make you submit it even though you get one back like they should just make you keep it um Wow, I made a gold helmet. I don't... Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I understand what it's saying. Okay. Applied energistics. Mine factory. Reloaded. Thermal expansion. I don't see it in here. I guess it's not a... A quest... Um, okay, so I guess I'm going to have to Google how to do it. Let's see here. Yolorium, Yolorium, housing, power port, cyanide reprocessor. Okay. Oh, here we go. 3 by 3 by 3. So that means we need, what, 27? Well, it's probably enough, right? Okay, we're going to go put it in our power place, because that's basically what this is, right? So I guess I'll put it right here. It seems a good place. Three by three. That's four, but whatever. By three, yeah. I three, so we're gonna need a lot more. Do we have any iron? Iron urn? We turned all our iron to uh, uh, steel. Do we have any iron? Yep. Let's check to see if we have. Oh yes, we do. Okay, so we want iron dust. I don't even have space in here. I don't know why I always do that. We have space for a little bit more than a stack. Okay. Drop these in here. Was it steel? Okay. Let's go grab some steel. Okay, please, if you need a break, take a break and come back. Um, okay, do I have... St oh, yes, I do have a story, actually. So, I was... While I was AFK waiting for the steel to uh, cook up... Oh, my God, I left that... There we go. I always leave the damn AC on. Um, oh, no, now I'm holding my mic 
Do not fall. Do not. Okay. Okay, so I was reading my email while I was waiting for the, um, for the, uh, what's it called? For this steel to, to smelt. And I got an email. I have it open here. Um, I got an email from, oh, yeah. So I was checking my spam like I normally do because you never know when something that you need to see is in spam. Like, I don't know. I always get, like, tons of emails a day, so I always check it just out of habit, I guess. So let me move this over here so I can read the email to you. So in my spam, I have an email from Easy Pass Service Center. And um, so if you guys don't know what Easy Pass is, basically... The way that EasyPass works is you have this like little infrared, like um, how big is it? It's probably like the size of most people wa most people's wallets. Um, oh, okay. It's the size of most people's wallets, and um, you put it like behind your uh, rearview mirror in your car, and when you go to a toll, instead of paying with cash you just like drive up to it and then it like scans your thing and then we need more graphite and then it'll like pay for it so you don't have to what's it called so you don't have to like carry on cash or coins or whatever so i have this email i don't have an easy pass fun fact like i i have a car that has an easy pass because my parents have easy pass but i don't actually have an easy pass myself um so basically it says easy pass service center to me um actually now that i think about it i could probably show you once we do this uh i hope this is correct it said three by three <laughs> that looks so stupid three by three they require uh to craft a big reactor, the wall needs to be covered with reactor casing. On the top center, you need... Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of stuff. So, while I create that, let's see if I can get a... Also, don't judge me because I... Okay, add window capture. This should work, I hope. Oh, yes, it does work. Perfect. Okay, so let's make this full screen while I talk. Uh, how do I zoom in? So you guys can read it along with me. Okay, so it says, Payment for driving on toll road. Dear customer, you do not... Uh, dear customer, you have not paid for driving on a toll road. This invoice is sent repeatedly. Please service your debt in the shortest time possible. The invoice can be downloaded here. So this link that they've sent me... Of course, like, I know it's spam, because it's spam, one, and two, fuel rod, ah, I always type in the wrong thing, and two, um, I don't have an easy pass, and then three, what is this, oh, okay, that's not too bad, Eulorium fuel rod, and then I need a, so let's turn that off. And then I need a... Should that work? Okay. Uh, actually, I could probably do something like... This? Does that work? No, you can't see it. Oh no, my, com my computer's just dying. Feed the beast wiki, capture layered window... Settings, edit scene, position, fit to screen. There we go. So, I can actually zoom in. This is pretty cool. I'm using uh, OBS right now. Okay, so it says we need a, where, oh, you can't see my mouse. Reactor control rod, reactor... Eulorium fuel rod reactor access port. So let's make that next. React 
to our control rod. Okay. What is that? Oh, that requires reactor casing. Okay, so let's make some more reactor casing. Oh, I can't actually see what you guys are seeing. Okay, there we go. Let's do something like position size, move to left. Ooh, there we go. That looks nice. Okay. Something like, let's make this tiny. This is really cool. I know that this is a super long episode, but this is awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna set this one. Move to top. Oh, not that kind of top. Move to top, what? Move to top, there we go. So I get this, I get the email. And I don't have an easy pass, so I know it was not, like, for me. But at the same time... Oh, we're out of steel. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, let's get some more iron. Let's go put this in there. Um, so I know I don't have an easy pass, right? But then, you know, I checked the email address, and the email address is... Not an email address for easy pass. I'll say that much. It's basically like a personal, like it's like a johnnysbarbershop.com. Like it's like team, it's team at johnnysbarbershop.com. It's not actually Johnny's Barbershop. Johnny, Johnny's Barbershop is a great barbershop, okay? He has never done anything. That's why I can say that because if it was true, then I wouldn't be able to use his name. But his, his is a pretty good barbershop. I don't think they have a website. Um, but it's just like, you know, like family business name.com and so obviously it's not Wait, how did I get molten iron how did molten iron get in there we need sand 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 Santa <laughs> yeah so and then so there's a thing that says to click here right and there's no link like you can click on it all day long and there's nothing gonna happen which kind of sucks, because I was hoping it would be, like, some kind of, I don't know, something. Um, this is awesome. This is so cool. You can read it, and I can read it. Oh, you can even see my mouse sometimes. Um, yeah. But. So, yeah, it just says, I wish I could, like, you know, I'm glad it's not real. I guess. I don't know how, what else to say. You can't see my email. Good. Okay. I like this. This is cool. So now we're waiting for steel. Now we have freaking iron in here. Just the stupidest thing. Let's put the steel on the bottom. There we go. Okay. So after we make this, we're going to need... So let's put some cobble down so I can get up there. This is going to be a long episode. We need to do this for the Yolorium. So on the top, we need to put, should it be hollow? Put a reactor control rod. So this is Yolorium fuel rod. In the very center, put a Yolorium fuel rod. Okay, perfect. Doop, doop, doop. Not enough control rods. Reactors require at least one. Okay. So. There we go. What I need is one of those access. You know what? That's probably a good idea to make one. One of those crafting terminals. We should put one like on this side of the map. So we don't have to keep running back. Crafting. Terminal. Oh, that's a crafting monitor. Crafting terminal. Okay, so we need to make this thing first. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. We want that. And then we need, uh, to go with it, we need some ME cable. 
We want to use this because we have a ton of. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Backing up. Yeah, this is so cool. Uh, this. Oh, wait, I have to click on this button. That should... So this episode's going to be like three hours long. Just wait. Okay. Boom. Hey, excuse me. There we... Oh, jeez, that's in my face. How did iron get in there? Oh, because I didn't have sand? I'd get it myself, but I don't have thumbs. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's hilarious. Okay, so we need a control rod. You know the uh, begging strips? Control, <laughs> control rod. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this episode. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so that goes on the top. This is such a streaming game. That goes on top. Perfect. Name. Uh, can we call that Yolorium? Yol Yolorium. Set. Perfect. Eh, eh. So then we need, it says, a power tap and a reactor access port. So let's look up react to your access ports okay so we need more of these things and we need a what the heck oh steel 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 Perfect. Okay. Longest episode ever. Okay. That's probably the most boring episode as well. Um, okay. Reactor port, right? That's what we want. And we need the piston. Boom. 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 Port. Boom. Are we really... Oh. It's like, are we really one short? Okay. Then we need... One of these, and we're out of steel again. Okay, then we need the power tap, right? Power. Okay, power tap. Power tap. This is power tap. There we go. Where did I put the output thing? Then we put this thing here. Ooh. Power tap. Yeah, that makes. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. Well, I mean, I guess it does. But. It's gonna be kind of ugly. That's okay, whatever. And then access port. Boom. Not enough controllers. Did I not make a controller? No, I made control rod. Okay. Cool. So how do we make a controller? Oh, great. Luckily, I have all that junk. Boom. Okay, here we go. Boom. 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 Actually, I'm going to rearrange some stuff. Okay, controller goes here. Power... No. Oh. I thought it turned into this. I was like... Because in the old versions of Feed the Beast and uh, back in the day in Tech It. Yeah, that looks nice. Cool. Auto eject waste. Yes. So now we should do this. Let's grab one of these. 
This one is empty, so let's take this. Okay, and we'll put it right here. Okay, it's blue on all sides. Then we go to this thing, and we put Yolorium in there. Boom. Eject waste. Core offline. Activate. Whoa, look how much RF per tick. No, that's not actually that much, I think. Okay, so now it should hopefully make some cyanide ingots so that we can finish this quest. I guess you can make this thing how big? As big as you want. Ooh. Maybe what we can do later um, is kind of expand it back and make it really long this way. Because there's no thing here, so we just remove this and just keep building. The the void is the limit, obviously. That's actually doing pretty well. 50% fuel. Casing heat, core heat. Oh, do we need a cooler? I didn't even think of that. Turbines, con, convict, <laughs> steam into water. <laughs> this is the, these are the equations I was talking about. This right here, this one is, this is called a piecewise function because basically it says if rotor speed is greater than 500, then you do this equation. And if rotor speed is less than 500, you do this equation. So like, let's see, uh, Wolfram Alpha here. Uh, piecewise function. Hopefully, it should give like a picture of how it, what it looks like. How do I show a piecewise function on here? Oh, like this. Oh, jeez, I gotta type it in. Okay. Piecewise. Uh. 0, x less than 20, um, comma, 1, x greater than or equal to 20. How about that? Jeez, this is really showing my math skills. Like that? Does that work? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so you can see here in this, let's do something like, it's x if x is less than 20, and then if it's greater than 20, then x it's x squared. Because that should show a little bit better, because it's going to be connected. Oh, okay. I wish I could zoom out. But, yeah, so otherwise. So you can see here, this is basically like what they're talking about with rotor speed. So if the rotor speed is less than 500, while we wait for this to get some cyanide. Yeah. Okay, if the rotor speed is less than, okay, if it's less than 500, then it's going to be 0.5 efficiency, which is 50%, which means that half of your power goes to running it and half of it you get back, I think. And then otherwise, it's going to be this function, which, I mean, we can show... But basically, it's going to be some kind of constant, which is rotor speed over 45.5 pi, and then the cosine of that. So it's a function based on rotor speed, obviously. But um, yeah, so it's like 0.5, and then it can like it'll oscillate. So if you see here, we can do something like cosine of x when x is greater than 20. It'll be like, ah, it doesn't show it. Okay, let's do a number, like 0.5, like how they have it. We're going to simplify it a little bit. So you can see, oh man, I hate this. Can I do, like, from, like, of course, I've totally forgot that's a thing. My record key is the minus sign. 
Oh, no. Okay, yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Can I... What the heck? Okay, hopefully this works. What's going on? Uh, maybe if we do something like this. For some reason, it's not showing up. I want to show you this chart. Windows is not minimized, I'll tell you what. Tell you what. Okay, let's just re add it, I guess. Because we gotta wait for this anyway, so let's refresh. Boom. There we go, that's what we want. So you can see here, let me pump up the base. You can see here, this is kind of like basically how it works is it's going to be 0.5, and then once you hit 500 it's going to go into this oscillation like this so like there's going to be certain points where it's really good efficiency and certain points where it's really bad um so that's pretty cool have we gotten it yet i'm kind of waiting for this to give me some i don't know if it's like ejecting it out out the back or uh when does it produce waste oh there we go 5.1 percent so we have 102 millibuckets of waste currently so uh that's good math 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 i love how there's so much math on this page uh, like lift torque is 10 times the number of, oh geez and this is not even anything when you think of like Piecewise, you can do like um, things like uh, die gamma um, plus. Let's see, nope. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. I don't. Is it die gamma? Like I keep putting an e. Oh, it's not, it's not die gamma, it's just regular gamma. Huh. Whatever, don't worry about this. Don't, don't even, okay, pretty pictures. While we wait for this thing to get depleted. So we're at 6% depleted. This is going to be an hour long video. Actually, I'll probably split into two videos. So, welcome to part two. <laughs> oh, look, the Euler Mascheroni constant. I'm so glad I don't have to... Do oh, Bessel functions. That's what I was looking for. Bessel functions are the best. And by that, I mean... They're not they're not fun. Um, but they make some nice pictures. Okay, so let's see what else it says. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Agrarian skies. Oh, I could probably show you how to inst ah, too much work. <laughs> yeah, feed the beast launcher. So it is. Uh, do they say what website it is? Expand. Whoa, expand. Oh no. So, is it done yet? Seven percent depleted. We may have to take a break. No, it's if we're gonna sit here the entire time. I mean, you guys can fast forward. Fast forward. Right now. Feel free to fast. Do I have a story to tell? I don't know. Do I have a story to tell? I feel like I do, but I, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my mind. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. 
Excuse me. Oh, wait. Can I check in this thing? Control rod plus 10. What does this do? Let's see. We're looking for... What is it? Rotary control rod? Reactor con control. Right-clicking on the control wall will bring a... Where you can name the rod and set the extension of the control rod. You can extend and retract the control rod. Extending the control rod will lower the radiation. This will lower the heat and the power output, but decrease fuel consumption. Oh, so we want it at zero. We want it. We want to take it out basically because we we want to use up all our fuel as much as possible. That way we can have some depleted yellorium, which makes cyanide. So we can finally finish this quest. Shift, dump, access, waste. Shift. Zero point one. Wait, what? Where did it dump it? I think I just, like, voided it. Gosh. Darn it. Okay, well, it can't be that much longer, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, let's see what else we can get set up. How about that? You know what? Let's finally do this one. Redstone energy conduit. It can't be that hard. Redstone energy conduit. What do we need? You need to put this in a crafting table. Okay. Electrum hardened glass. I can do that. Spiders. Okay. So, electrum hardened glass, hardening glass, electrum, electrum hardening glass. Redstone energy conduit. Boom. Then what? Well, this is just the casing, right? So I guess we can put it in like here. And then do something like this. Oh yeah, look at that. Redstone energy conduit. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, so is that it? Wait, what? Oh, manual detect. I was like, soaked the red net energy cable. I was like, what? Okay, red net energy cable. I don't have a normal red net cable. Boom. Ooh, you know what we're gonna get? I don't know, heated redstone, culinary, Okay, we'll just get another one of these. Da 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 do 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 do. do. Oh, a greater reward bag. Butter, butter, butterfly fish. Or butterfly fish, but butterfly fish. Butter, fly fish. Hey, while well, we finished that, is there any more on that quest line? Resident res resonant flux capacitor. Oh, you get an endothermic pump. Redstone energy. Okay. So, 
res resonant flux capacitor res reso resonant flux capacitor okay so for that one we need the redstone flux capacitor which needs the hardened flux capacitor which okay so let's start with the leadstone and we're missing something boom no boom 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 sulfur where do you get sulfur from pulverizing coal nether quartz ore blaze nether rack I think I have some nether rack I have 22 so we should get two sulfur from that right technically well not technically but hey excuse me Okay, let's go check on the Yolorium. I really hope it has some waste for me this time so I don't destroy it. Eject. 4.4% depleted. Okay. Well... Well, it filled this up quick. Jeez. It's filling the inside of itself. I guess. Is this not outputtings? It is, isn't it? But this thing is making too much power as well. Yeah, it seems that way. Well, at least this guy's filling up. So let's... Go switch this guy out while we. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're making sulfur. There we go. And is this guy full? Basically. Okay, so I guess for right now we'll just put it right here. I have to sneeze. Okay. Yep, that's good. Sulfur. Perfect. Okay, leadstone flux capacitor. Oop, voice crack. Resonant. You know what I need? You know what I need? No, um... A jetpack, actually. Actually, this isn't too hard to make. I'm sure the Enderium is probably the hardest thing to make in the world, isn't it? Yep, okay. So first thing we need is Pyrothium dust. Which we need basically coal. Okay, so coal. Coal! We need some coal. I hope this thing... Gives me some cyanidium, whatever, cy cyanite. How much does this need? Not a lot, okay. Cyanite. Is this full already? No. It says 6.3% depleted. Okay. How much deplete does it need to be before we... I just realized this thing is... Try... This is so cool. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. So I just have to wait, basically. Four ingots. Oh, so each ingot is a thousand millibuckets. So we're at 125. Okay, so we have to... I'm sorry, I just sneezed, so I gotta sniffle. Sniffle it back up. Should be some more iron in here and copper. Boom. Right now, I'm just processing those two because that's what I have set up. But, and that's basically what I need. I don't really need the other ones for anything right now. Okay, 
coal and sulfur. Pyrothium dust. Boom. Okay. Wow, we can only make two. Okay. So then we have pyrothium dust. Oh. Shh, shh. Okay. And enderium? Is that what it was called? And no, resonant. Resonant. Okay. And we need enderium for that. Enderium is made by smelting, okay, enderium blend, which is pulverized tin. What the hell? Resonant ender bucket, pulverized tin, and shiny metal. Okay. So that's going to be fun because um, shiny metal is platinum. And platinum is the one metal that I actually don't support. Um, and so, here, I'll show you. If you go downstairs, just fast forward, just fast forward. No platinum here. Because there's there's only eight spots and platinum's the ninth. So he kind of gets left out. So you'll never see platinum in here. Um, unless I put it in there manually. So let's, we can just smelt this, right? Nice. Well, why is that running? Just pulverizing cobble, no big deal. Why is that one running and not the other ones? You know what? I don't care. I I don't care. Let's eat our food. Okay. So let's smelt this up. That'll give us shiny ingots, and then we need uh and ender enderium no resident ender bucket so we need this i don't know how much a bucket's worth is so can you enchant steel fluid transposer uh sugar can we do Oh, I know how I did this. Yeah, I did it the worst way possible. Okay. Buckets. I just realized the magma crucible is all the way over here as well, so I need to grab that. I was using it to make obsidian. So now let's bucket out another piece. And another one. Are you joking? Well, now we're basically screwed. Ah, oh, this is great. Okay, so let's stop this. Put one more in. So I need another tank. That's empty. I might actually have one. Because now... Actually, this is only two buckets worth. Don't tell anyone. The stuff is probably... What, did, can I touch it? Oh, it doesn't even hurt. Okay. Well, then what to put... No, oh, my torches! And the heads, well, whatever, it's already, it's already, you already did it. It's too late. Okay, so that's one bucket's worth. So we're going to send it out the left side. No, we're not actually. We're not going to send it out the left side. We're going to send it out the top. Right? Yes. Perfect. And then... This one, no, and then this, this one, we're going to put, no, we lost power. I didn't even need to do that, fun fact. Wait, does this knock down the wires? No. Wow. 
Well, now they're organized. Uh, oh. What? Oh, maybe I just can't come in contact with water. So now we need a piece of redstone. So that should make a bucket's worth. Perfect. So then we put this on the ground over here. So that it doesn't flow everywhere and kill people. Then we put the bucket back in. Then we do this. Then I put this over here. Then we move the endurium back here. And we set on output mode. Go in here. Perfect. Bucket. Boom, boom, boom. Resonant. Ender. Oh, I don't have pulverized tin. Okay, that's fine. Tin. Tin, tin, tin. Okay. Not by the hair of my tinny tin tin. That's probably, like, not a good word to say. I apologize if it is not a good word to say. Okay. So we have our shiny ingots. We also have to pulverize those. We only need two, right? I think. Two, um... In Enderium should be enough. Let me go back over here. Shiny. This. Oh wow, that makes four. Okay. Then we have the Pyrothium dust. Put one in here. Two in here. Okay, it's working. Let's go check the reactor. Okay, this this is going to be an hour long episode. Well, it probably already is like 2 hours long. 200. So we're a quarter of the way. There. If I knew it was going to take so long, I would have stopped that episode. You know what? I probably yeah, totally. Welcome to episode 14. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh jeez. Okay. Perfect. This is definitely episode 14 material right here. So, welcome. Thank you guys for watching episode tw uh, 13. Um, I'm sure you enjoyed it. <laughs> there we go. Boom. That wasn't really that hard to make. Wait a second. Did it just steal it from me? Oh my god, I hate when it does that. You know what? We already have two of these, so let's pick the reward bag. Redstone energy cell. Okay, so let's put that downstairs. You know what? We can put it right here. Oh my god, it was full. I know where I'm putting it. It'll now. It's, this is the new heart of our thing. That should be output on the back. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And then we got an epic reward bag. A 0.58 chance to get... Yeah, well, you know what? I don't even want it. I don't even want it. Ender thermic pump. Okay, so let's just put those things away because I don't know what they're for. Okay, well, uh, I guess... Thanks for watching episode 14. I actually haven't stopped recording this entire time. I'm going to have to edit this all. Uh, I guess in the next episode, we might get to see this get to halfway. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching A Grand Skies. You can pick it up on the Feed the Beast launcher, uh, which is like in the description. Yes, it is. Um, they have a great wiki. <laughs> oh, 
we'll see you next time. Bye.